Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, and today we're trying something a little different. Uh, today we're going to have our first deck profile, and this time it will be for Eva. Uh, this deck I've been using for a pretty good while, and yeah, I think this is the most comfortable deck I should start with our um, deck profiles. So without further ado, let's go again and get started. So first for the ride line, you just have the standard Eva ride line, the 0, the 1, the 2, and the 3. Three, nothing really too special about that. Unfortunately for the glitters, you have to run the entire ride line for it to uh, work, so that's why. Let's put this over here. Next for the triggers, I use 8 criticals, 4 of them are vanilla, and 4 of them are the effect ones. I see some people try to get away with not only using vanilla triggers, which is perfectly fine. However, I feel that because uh, Ava uses a lot of soul, uh, that you kind of have to run the criticals with the, the ghost and soul. The next one, uh, let's see, I run three draws. Uh, a lot of people have questioned me why I use draws instead of front triggers. It's because for the draw triggers, I like having the ability to draw my outs and also to gain more resources in order to be better uh, defend against my opponent's attack. Uh, the 20k shield and the 20 and the 10k front row from the front triggers are pretty nice. But I feel like overall, uh, it's good to have a diverse uh, amount, or a diverse variety of resources to use in order to guard or attack with. That really helps out. Uh, plus, a defensive draw is always welcomed. Next, I do use two effect heals. This one is the critical one. Uh, this is mainly for the mirror match in case other Avas I play against for the Obscurites. Uh, other decks also do gain critical durabilities as well, so this also helps out as a 25k shield. And then I use two vanilla heals. And the over trigger, of course. Next, for my grade ones, I use three perfect guards as well as one uh, blitz order perfect guard. So, nothing really special about that. Uh, I use two wavy lost dragons. Uh, the soul blast, two does come in handy to draw an extra resource uh, that you might need, as well as being a 13k attacker. Um, this is also pretty helpful. He's also one of the reasons why I prefer the effect critical because he does eat up two whole soul. So being able to replenish soul when you need to is really nice. Uh, speaking of that though, I do run two bubble mines. Um, although the deck does counter charge a fair amount using the and there's another card going on <laughs> using the order cards. Uh, sometimes you do want to have a bubble mine in the later stage of the game, or even in the early stage of the, stages of the game. If your opponent tries to damage deny you, uh, you can use bubble mine to replenish your uh, counter counter blasts with that. Uh, for the great twos, I just run four copies of the uh, great two obscurides. They're pretty good for vanilla, for vermilion ability, not a vanilla ability, but for the vermilion ability, uh, early stages in the game. It also does come in clutch sometimes in the later stages of the game. They're pretty good as well. For grade threes, uh, just three Avas for the perfect uh, persona ride, obviously. Uh, let's see. Four of. The Great 3 Obscurides, I feel like these are the main um, pressure you get from the deck with the extra critical and the 23k beater, or 33 on the Persona right turn. Uh, that really does help and... Wow, there's a lot of traffic today. Oops, a lot of traffic. Another thing I run are three uh, Advent Robots. They're pretty good uh, for searching out your deck for order cards that you may need. Uh, sometimes when you get to grade 3, you unfortunately don't get the third order. Uh, so this, this counts as like something to help you search for one. Uh, another thing it has going for it is that if you have two orders with the same name, uh, then he becomes a 23k beater. And it is not limited to the opponent's vanguard being grade 3. So unlike Homebind Rusher, uh, this, hit, this thing hits hard like as soon as it comes out. Let's see. And then for the orders, I just run four 
of the grade 1 orders for the counter charge and to salvage uh, Oscodite, as well as giving them the ability not to be retired by abilities, as well as 4 copies of uh, the grade 3 order, the world is a blue research lab. Uh, they're pretty good for filtering out your deck, um, as well as boosting up your power early game, or any point of the game for Soul Blast. Uh, the downside is it is a Soul Blast, which is another reason why I run the critical as well as Bubble Mine. Uh, so some people, as I mentioned before, do like to run other cards like um, Combine Rusher, because for uh, abilities, because Combine Rusher can come out when you play an order card. Um, so uh, for extra counter blast, you call it, you can call it from the drop zone uh, to get another attacker. Uh, although that is pretty nice to have because of the counter blast uh, that it takes. I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, when I play Ava, I like to be a little bit defensive, not taking um, more damage than I need to. So I like to control what what it is, and I feel like using three counter blasts as a turn is not very efficient, so that's why I dropped it. Um, let's see. For the grade 2 order cards, I do see people still run that as well, like as a 1 or 2 of. Um, personally, I haven't really found much of a use to it. Um, there's a lot of, most of my deck does eat up a lot of uh, soul blasts already, so I can't really justify the bind ability to do so, uh, which is why I don't do that. Uh, if I were to run that grade 2 order, I would probably take out uh, drop wavy loss to maybe just a one of, uh, just so that I don't have to eat up so many uh, soul for the deck to work. Um, overall, with the deck, um, it is still tier one, um, mainly because I think like English is not getting monster strike anytime soon or at all, so there's not so that's not there anymore. Um, it does fare pretty good against the current meta of Chrono Jet and Youthberg. My record is pretty good with them. Um, this deck is actually pretty good uh, against Chrono Jet because once it pops off, it has the potential to out-tempo them. Uh, so the Chrono Jet player cannot really respond as well as they think they can, or as much as they want to. Uh, against Youthberg, it's the same thing. Um, you just slowly build up your resources and then out-resource your opponent so that you can overwhelm them late game. Um, let's see. See, is there anything else I need to mention about this deck? It's really cute! <laughs> uh, overall, yes, it also really is cute uh, to play with. Um, but yeah, this is a shorter video than I'm used to. I'm pretty much doing this off, like, without a script or any thoughts or anything, uh, as I normally do. Uh, it's just that this week I didn't have much to film, so I just try, 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 wanted to try something new. Okay, so after filming, I decided to add in a little bit more. So I'm just gonna show you like a, a board just to show you what I mean by like uh, for certain deck choices I made. I'm pretty sure I destroyed that sentence more than I, than I should have, but basically yeah. So I'm just gonna show you a few examples of why I chose some of the cards that I did. So for example, in this situation where your opponent did deny your damage, because normally I try to have uh, at least two damage over here, preferably just two exact. But if there's not enough to, uh, then this is where Bubble Mine comes in handy. So let's just say we needed to use um, major choices like do, do all the Ava stuff. So you just counter blast one, look at top two in this case, and then, oh look, not bad. Add one, and then put the rest to the bottom. And then when you attack, after it boosts, you can still put it into the soul and counter charge. Pretty simple. Uh, now I'm going backwards. Do, 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 do. That work? Yep. For do, do. Admin Robust, it's a pretty nifty card. Let's play it down over here. Then kind of blast one. Get your order card because you know you're missing the second order card. Uh, that happens sometimes. Um, so what you do is just play Admin Robust. Play the order card. So you have three now. And then, even though you have one in Counter Blast, which is our worst case scenario, you can do the same thing with Bubble Mine. It goes into Soul to Counter Charge, followed by an attack with Ava to bring out your Obscodide, which is, I should have prepared that, <laughs> over here, with the extra critical. Um, let's see. And then, for Wavy Loss, Soul Blast 2, 
This is just an example of why you just wave your loss. So you have the Soul Blast 2, which is pretty good. And since you have uh, the 3 orders, he becomes a 13k attacker. Uh, so with Ava, it's good to have cards uh, that you're willing to sacrifice um, in order for you to uh, call over them with Obscuride. So be being a 13k attacker, you just swing them first, followed by Ava, and then using her ability, Tower Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, you can call an Obscuride overhit. So that's also another reason because he's like a poker target. Um, that's just a general idea of what the deck is. I know it's pretty sloppy. I promise I'll get better uh, later on if I do more deck profiles. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's like a small little sample of some reasonings behind um, some deck choices I made. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will try to answer them in the comments as well because this is my first time making deck profile so uh, still a little uh, new to this uh, idea but yeah um, so if you like what you see here today feel free to like and subscribe for more videos if you have any suggestions for future deck profiles that you want to see or any advice in general feel free to comment below I do read your comments uh, and and lastly oh, another car goes by <laughs> and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video later